Hi, Brendan. Hello. Oh, wait, can you hear me? All right. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Oh, my mic. My... Oh, there we go. <laughs> now I can see you. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, trying to do the streaming thing, which it's no longer working anymore. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, which is no longer working? <laughs> the streaming. Like oh, we used to be oh. able to stream directly yeah, yeah, yeah. to YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's annoying. Uh, let's try. Says I require more privileges. These are unnecessary privileges for live streaming. I'm assuming this is from the YouTube site. I'll figure it out later. It's called technology is hot. Hello, everyone. Hey, everyone. Good afternoon. Share the meeting notes. information all right Chat. to the selling team meeting notes please put your name in um we are looking for someone to help scribe so if you can help scribe that would be awesome All right. All right, let's give it another one or two minutes and then we can get started. All right, so I'm going to start with the, the standard boilerplate. Uh, hello, everyone. Reminder that this meeting is being recorded and will be posted to YouTube. Um, participation of these meetings is agreement to the CNCF and Cognitive Security Code of Conduct, which can be found in the repos. Um, I'll need at least one person to volunteer at Scribe just to um, take note of the action items and next steps, um, but everything's going to be recorded. Um, and for folks on the call, please include your name and your organizations in the meeting notes. Cool. Um, I think this is going to be a fairly short meeting. So, um, before I go ahead, I see that Michael has an update. Um, does anyone else have any agenda items that they want to talk about today or introduce? And then, um, I can add that to the agenda. All right, if not, let's get started. It will be a quick one today. Um, okay, so I don't think we have any new members. Let me just be sure. Yeah, I think I've seen everyone here before. Um, triage review, okay, TOC updates. Um, no TOC meaning since, so we are good. Um, so let's do a quick update on projects. Um, so we have, um, Michael, do you want to give an update on the SSF? Sure. Um, 
So the SSF, uh, the white paper, the draft is is done. We are uh, we have a ticket open with the uh, CNCF itself for some technical writers to clean some things up uh, and produce a PDF out of it, so that we can then um, share with the rest of the uh, the community um, for comment. Uh, I don't know exactly how long that that usually takes, but um, once that you know once that's done, we will be uh, sharing uh, the PDF with the the rest of the community, um, and then uh, it's probably in the next few weeks we're going to start discussing. Um, we're already discussing rather uh, next steps, right? Like once the draft is out, you know what what are the next things for the group? Do we want to spin down the group? Those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, th that's the update on um, that thing. I also have a, a, a minor update or minor sort of question, I guess, regarding some of the salsa stuff that had come up in an open SSF meeting right before this, which is they are doing, um, they are looking at also their own sort of uh, open source compromise list, similar to what we have here at the security tag. And they said, hey, if we would rather not duplicate it, but they also noticed that it hasn't been updated in a while. So they're like, what you know should you know should we keep ours up to date should we just use anyway there's there's some conversation about uh how we want to do that and obviously their list of compromises is a little bit more focused on um you know how it affects the supply chain mm -hmm. i i think you know our our list is currently community driven um i think if if they do have cycles um, and want to work together on this. We can work something out. Maybe we can kind of change the templating a bit to kind of add a few more details that they would like to encapsulate as well. Um, but yeah, I, I think maybe we can we can set up a conversation with them, um, figure out how we can kind of combine these efforts. Yep, sounds good. Awesome. Can you take that that item to kind of schedule? that are these like create a chat group for us too. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Um, yep, sounds good. Awesome. Thanks, Michael. Um, okay, I think we push card. Do you wanna give a quick update on white paper V2? Yes, can everyone hear me? All right, cool. So we just met before this meeting. We had about 12 people joining in and there are 30 plus people who have showed interest in the linked issue. So things are looking great so far. Um, we are going to decide and finalize the scope uh, by end of this year. And the idea is each of the deliverables in the issue will become their own individual GitHub issues. And then people can assign it to themselves and start working on it in Jan. And through multiple iterations and review cycles, we'll hopefully publish the version two by KubeCon EU, which is in May, 2022. Only one maybe quick uh, question for uh, Brandon and TLS is the label for the issue right now is still proposal and long-term planning. Should we maybe change that now or it's still okay? Um, for, the pro uh, for the main white paper V2, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I can move that to a project. I think we've we've done the necessary steps to classify that as a project now. Okay, cool, perfect, thank you. So for folks who uh, couldn't join the meeting, we'll have a recording uploaded soon. Uh, but if you have questions or want to know what's going on, keep track of the tax security white paper channel on Slack and we'll keep updating with the latest things going on on that channel. And I'm, I'm always open to questions uh, here or later, uh, if you have any. Awesome. Can you um, post a, a link to the issue in the chat for those that may be interested? Yes, I will. Okay. Cool. Uh, do you have any updates from any other project groups, um, audio serverless? Security pals, security reviews, controls, um, cognitive security map. Okay. Um, 
All right, I have some updates from some of these things. So audio is pretty much wrapping up. Um, Sarah, Sarah Allen has, um, is, is back in business um, and she will be one of the first testers for the, the audio version of the white paper. Um, so that's what's going on with the audio. Um, and also we have for security reviews, we have Argo that's kicking off. Um, I believe John Kinsella and Matthew Gessier, Gesser will be the co-leads for that review. Um, don't think it's too late if you're interested in participating in the Argo review to put your name in. Um, they will be, the, the next steps will be a kickoff meeting and then you know things will just roll forward there, planning to be done with the review by the end of the year. Cool. Um, if not, that we should be good with those updates. Um, Frederick, I see your, your, your agenda item. We'll get to that shortly. Um, other check-ins should be good. Um, so one thing that I was talking to, uh, we we're talking to the TOC, they brought up this project called Meta, Meta Target or Meta Target or Me Target. We don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Um, but this is something that they, they highlighted to us um, that came into Sandbox um, application, um, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I think the way I would think about it is like a then vulnerable DBWA or then vulnerable Linux for containers and orchestration systems. Um, so the, this project is kind of like mainly one maintainer right now. I think uh, we want to kind of share this in the group, see whether folks um, find this interesting, want to contribute to this, uh, and hopefully we will have a presentation um, soon that they, the maintainer can come and talk about the project a bit more. Um, but essentially, it seems like uh, you know ability to do a single single line, just install a vulnerable Kubernetes cluster that is uh, vulnerable to the Runty. Um, exploit, for example, right? And then you can play around with your CVs from there. Cool. Um, if not, uh, Frederick, do you want to talk a little bit about um, the SWAMP stuff I see you have in the, in the agenda? So um, let me tell you what I did uh, in, in short. So I took two tools that one of them is for generating S bombs in the Cyclone DX uh, based off of Go code. And the second one was an SPDX tool, which also generates an SPDX S bomb, which handles multiple languages, but I only focused on Go. Uh, I ran them against the same project. Uh, then I did a analysis on the output and the analysis resulted in two blog posts, which are linked in the, uh, uh, in, in the agenda. So if you are interested in knowing what a SBOM looks like and what type of information you may typically see, uh, you can take a look at that. And one caveat is that both of these tools are still early in their development. So there's a lot of growth here, and they also do not make full use of the spec of the specification. And in fact, uh, you may not even want to make full use of the specification because of the verbosity in some scenarios. So sometimes you may have to make decisions on what type of things you want or, or don't want uh, within it. And uh, these uh, authors had to make some decisions on that. So, but in short, if you want to see what uh, an SBOM looks like and uh, and see an initial analysis on some of them. Uh, take a look at the two links that I posted there and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Awesome, thanks Frederick. Um, you can, do you want to post these links in the chat as well so that folks can easily get it? All right, if not, this, this um, any, any other topics that we want to bring up? Oh, I noticed we have a someone that joined. Um, I'm not sure whether I've, you're new, but did you want to introduce yourself, Altas? 
Hi, everyone. Uh, Altes here. Uh, so I was a part of this group uh, a while back, uh, but had to step away uh, due to some other commitments. Uh, but I'm back in once again, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can do to contribute. Um, I extensively collaborate with a, a lot of other working groups. So uh, yeah, uh, kudos. Well done to the work that's been done here. Thanks. Awesome. And Altes, if you, if you don't mind, look at these like... Um mentioning some of the working groups that you work with um yeah sure so there are so i do some stuff with the open group uh some stuff with safe code i do some stuff with ieee um oasis uh, object management group and it's interesting to see um how each each community is kind of doing things from their perspective and i'm hoping that there might be opportunities to invite and uh, you know to, to kind of look at how, what some other groups are doing and, and invite sort of participation um, just to get some some different perspectives on things now so far when i've had conversations and invited folks or at least approached them there's been tremendous openness and willingness um, especially when we deal with cloud and security and, and things like that um, so i think it'll be really helpful so and there are many many use cases zero trust and security and development and devops and you know Awesome. That's that's a long list of great groups to work with. <laughs> cool. Uh, do you mind uh, sharing? Maybe I'll, I'll pick. Are you on Slack? I can ping you after this. We do have a um a, a related groups page that we list like members who are kind of like holding positions or like participants actively participating in other groups. So it's a good way for folks that you know maybe interested in collaborations to like um come to the community and then they can reach out to you as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Brandon or someone, could you just uh, put a link in the chat to today's agenda? Sorry, I was uh, doing some stuff with NIST prior, prior to this. No and uh, so I just thank you. Appreciate that. You may have to scroll down a little bit, but this yep. is like all good. Thanks, all. Yeah. Uh, welcome back, Altas. Yeah, and thanks, Fishka, for, for adding the link there. Cool. If not, uh, I guess this is this will be a, a short meeting um, since um, you know we kind of expect a, a lull more towards the end of the year. Uh, most likely, we will be canceling next week's meeting because of Thanksgiving. Um, so the next meeting again should be on the first of December. Um, any last last minute topics that we wanna talk about? If not, we can close up the call. All right, if not, hope everyone has a good one and get 40 minutes back. Awesome. See you in two weeks. Yep. Thanks.